Hey guys, so just in case you missed it, I want to let you know that we have a brand new chicken house on the farm. Now I know that if you don't actually pay keen attention, you might not notice the difference because the chicken house you see in the background right here is almost exactly the same as the one that you see on this other side and almost exactly the same as the one on the other side. That's three chicken houses. But each chicken house that I construct on the farm is usually a better version of the previous one. I try to improve particular things. On the outside, they do look exactly the same, but in construction and strength and functionality, each one is better than the previous one. You know how, for example, the iPhone brings out a new version of the iPhone every year. And when you look at it, compared to the one the year before, they don't look any different. It looks like the changes are so minute. But if you compare an iPhone with one five years ago, the difference is like day and light. That's exactly what we are doing right here, yeah? So this is my brand new chicken house on the farm. It was just built recently, and actually we do have chickens inside there right now. They have started to lay, and they're laying really beautifully. I mean, the percentage is picking up beautifully. Now, I promised you guys to share the cost of the construction of this house, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the cost of the construction of the house. Now, interestingly, despite the fact that they look quite similar, the prices are just a bit different. And I'm going to be telling you why as I take you through the individual things of the construction of the house. So come on, let's dive right into the video. Now we'll start with the very first cost. Right here where the chicken house is, is a flat ground, yeah? We had to make it flat. Now generally the place where I am is not very flat. You know, it's, a bit, it's quite flat, but it has a small slant, yeah? But you want to make sure that your chicken house is flat so that you don't have the litter on the inside of the house getting tilted and moving towards one side. You don't want to do that. So at the beginning, I had to get guys to level and make the place flat. And they did that very beautifully. So the labor cost for leveling this place was $42.60. And 60 cents. Now the next thing that we had to get was the poles, yeah? So the poles form the main part of the structure. They are literally what support the structure, yeah? So if your poles are weak, then the structure is going to be really weak. So if you can take a good look, you know, I'll try and get close right here. You can see that we have two poles at every point, yeah? At the bottom, we do have two poles, and at the top, we have just one pole, yeah? At every point, same thing with this. You have two poles, and at the top one because one goes through and another one supports the you know the upper roof yeah so like that now these are really strong poles that i got actually this time i decided to get some electric poles you know really big poles if you compare them to the ones on the previous house these ones are much bigger and stronger yeah much bigger and stronger because they form the core of the house so i thought it would be wise to come up with stronger poles and that's what i decided to do and compared to the cost of the poles the last time out this was certainly way more expensive well not way more expensive but a bit more expensive and it was 993 and 33 cents yeah 993 dollars and 33 cents and then after that the next thing is to put the poles into the ground. So in order to put the poles into the ground, you need concrete. They were put down using concrete. To make concrete, you need stones, you need aggregate. And these are the stones that you see here, yeah? These are the stones. This is simply what was left over, yeah? That we were using to build. Well, you don't only need the aggregate for putting it down, but even for making the flooring, the concrete floor inside. But yeah, these are the stones. And you also need sand, yeah? So we had some leftover sand, as you can see. We tried to put some stones around it because as you can see, it's a rainy season. It has just finished raining. You can see on the ground, it's a rainy season. So when it rains, it usually carries away the soil, as you can see it right here. So we are trying to prevent the soil from being carried away by putting this all around. So the aggregate over here cost us about $256. And the sand, about $120. Now, of course, in order to put the two together, you do need cement. Cement is the binding factor between the aggregate and the sand. And so the cement cost us about 480 US dollars. All the cement that we utilized on the house, 480 US dollars. A little bit more than what we utilized for the other house right there in the distance. Now, considering you can see the type of structure that it is, as you can see, it is built, you know, with iron sheeting, with a lot of uh, wood, poles, timber. The one thing that we actually did use a lot of is nails, yeah? We used quite a number of nails, as you can see. Uh, even hitting the chain link in on the side, everything that you're seeing here actually utilize nails. People always keep asking me, why do you use a lot of timber? Why do you use a lot of wood while constructing your house? 
isn't it weak? Won't it be a problem? And they are better materials to use. And guys, from my personal experience, using timber and constructing chick houses like this is actually very efficient and brings you good results. It brings the cost of construction of the house significantly down without affecting the general welfare of the bird. You know, there are some things which are more important than others. For example, the material you use to build the chicken house doesn't really matter as long as the welfare of the birds is made. You know, as long as the quality and the welfare of the birds is made. Now, this is something that is so critical if you want to succeed and get a lot of money. When I started out, people were looking at me as some, you know, unserious farmer, some really weird guy who is constructing using, you know, these materials because for them they are used to constructing using really expensive materials and they thought I would never make it. Guys, I've really expanded and grown really quickly and I can tell you that I've stood the test of time. Well, it's only five years, but we are still skyrocketing. And in order to get here, of course, it's not only about the housing, yeah? There are a lot of other things that need to be considered while constructing and building a farm if you want to, you know, get there and get to the top. And that's why the Farm Up Academy has come up, yeah? I've been telling you guys about the Farm Up Academy for quite a while, but it's coming very soon. It's just in a couple of weeks and it's going to be really great, yeah? So as part of the launch of the Farm Up Academy, I've decided to give away something for free yes very free i'm going to be giving you guys a free online training for anyone who wants to start a farm that can earn him anything between 5 to 15 thousand us dollars in just 21 weeks you heard me right 21 weeks and you're already earning between 5 and 15 thousand us dollars every month now you're probably thinking to yourself what's why, why would i you know need this because you share almost everything here guys i want to tell you that there's actually a lot of information that i don't share on the youtube channel because in all honesty for the biggest percentage of viewers they would imagine it's boring yeah it's boring it's too technical it's too detailed and they don't want to watch it so i actually know what works on youtube and what doesn't work on youtube but then i do know that there are a lot of you people out there who actually want to start your farms and you're serious about it and for you this will be interesting information and very important information so that's why the farm up academy exists so i'm going to be giving you guys this free online training and if you do want to attend this free online training you actually need to register yeah so i'm going to leave a link in the description of this video where you can go and register and right there you'll get to know exactly when and how to be part of the farm up academy guys this is not something i've done before it's going to be live with me and it's going to give you guys a lot of information that you do require so come on go and check it out i trust you'll like it so yes the nails did cost me about 253 dollars yes 253 dollars simply in nails of course <laughs> because there is a lot of nail work going on but of course the nails were used on timber and timber is another you know big percentage of what i actually utilized on the house now as you can see right here yeah our ramp going up is simply built from timber you can see it right here yeah but if we get in you know i'll disinfect my feet right here this water has a disinfectant to prevent uh, you know issues but when you do look inside here you can see that literally the, the roof the entire roof you can see is built from timber you can see it yeah it's built from timber and the purpose of using timber to build the roof is to make sure that it's light you know it's not something very heavy it is just light enough that it can function very well without causing us any issues as you can see yeah these are the poles and they support the timber that's on there now in between the timber you can see pieces of plywood you know can you see the plywood because the timber doesn't align perfectly yeah at some point it gets really close like right here but then it widens at particular points like here you see you can see the gap right here so we place plywood that you can see on the inside right there the white material to try and cover up that gap yeah so those are two really important materials we utilize and so the timber costs about 480 us dollars while the plywood cost us only 56 us dollars now of course by far the most expensive material in the house is the iron sheeting yeah it's the iron sheeting as you can see literally the entire house is built of iron sheeting so the entire outside wall as you can see you know what would be the walls on the sides the actual sides here the roof everything is built from iron sheeting so of course it took up a big percentage actually as you can see almost everything on my farm is built from iron sheeting yeah almost everything and uh, people keep asking me why I do use iron sheeting and it's because number one compared to the other possible materials that you can utilize it's quite cheap in all honesty it's quite cheap it's not expensive like bricks or using blocks but number two it provides the requirements that you do actually need yeah so number one 
it's very easy to wash yeah like i can show you guys uh, i don't know if you'll be able to see this but if you look at this chicken house right here you can see that the iron sheeting is dirty it has it has dirt can you see the dirt and i i can clearly rub it i think you can see this you see you can see the dirt yeah so it it, it, it gets quite dirty but it's easy to clean as long as water gets there i just need a pressure washer or guys to come with you know anything you know a cloth and they can wipe it off and it's nice and clean yeah so it's quite easy to clean even on the inside it's really easy to clean but also it ensures that we can build the structures really quickly without wasting time really really quickly so of course you're going to be thinking to yourself but it's not safe you know someone can come and cut through it really easily honestly by the time someone reaches the point of cutting through the iron sheets they can cut through the mesh you know the mesh part the easiest thing to do is to cut through the mesh the structure is as strong as its weakest link the weakest link on these chicken houses is the mesh so why would someone try to cut through the iron sheet if they can go through the mesh so even if you had a brick wall there honestly someone won't try to go through the brick wall they'll go through the mesh it's the weakest link so if you want to use the iron sheet as something for strength that's an invalid point so it it takes all the you know all the boxes of course with time it will rust and things like that but once it rusts especially the one on the side we just replace it put another one it's not too expensive and it works really well without wasting a lot of time and wasting a lot of money so uh it's a really good material that we utilize and the cost of the iron sheeting on this house right here was 1308 us dollars and then the next thing is the chain link and the chicken wire so you can see this is chicken wire that we do have and then under it is chain link you can see yeah so these are two materials that we utilized on the house why number one the chain link protects you from you know the bigger animals yeah first of all people themselves it's some form of hindrance or barrier if someone wants to get in they have to cut the chain link first of all so it protects you from that and maybe you know dogs monkeys if they ever came in but the chicken wire that you can see right here also protects you against bats in particular yeah you don't want bats to come inside here so the chain link that's inside there cost us about 200 us dollars for both you know down and up there as you can see and the chicken wire cost us about 48 us dollars now another thing that we utilize a lot of is hard core hard core are really big stones yeah you know stones like this i think you can see a stone right here can you guys see it yeah this one that i'm stepping on big stones like this yeah now these are important when we are constructing the structure in that once we've finished flattening the place we usually put them down to make you know the floor a bit stronger but we also use them for building on the sides for this we only needed one trip and it cost us about 21 us dollars the next step we do have the doors as you can see so we have two doors one at the top right there and one at the bottom of course for access into the chicken house yeah they don't come free and those two doors cost us about 43 us dollars combined now the other thing that we had to pay for was transportation of the poles to this place now unfortunately this time we did cut the poles during a rainy season the place where we did cut the poles from is a bit in a swampy area so it was quite tiresome and quite difficult getting the poles right here it was a lot of work i mean it was a lot of stress getting the poles here so we put in quite an amount of work and honestly this time it was way more expensive than last time it was twice as expensive to transport the poles here as it was last time even the labor increased because of the rainy season so the one thing we've learned is to try and avoid building in the rainy season we build in the dry season so that you know things are a bit easier anyway the transportation of the poles to this place cost us 224 us dollars then the other thing was the labor the labor that constructed the house yeah now in comparison to many other countries in all honesty labor in uganda is quite cheap yeah and labor where i am is, is cheaper yeah it's it's cheap in some places it's much cheaper in some places it's much more expensive but right here it was quite cheap honestly i i can't tell you that i'm complaining the chicken house took a couple of weeks to construct maybe about two weeks or a little bit more than two weeks to construct and uh, my dad was the <laughs> the main supervisor yeah because we've done it over and over again and he has been supervising he kind of understands what to do yeah these days i don't really need to be around those days i really needed to be around to make sure that the guys are not making mistakes but right now they have done it quite a number of times i mean this is the third one in fact if you do consider this is the fourth one if you do at the very first one that's you know at my dad's place this would be the fourth one and the guys have done it a number of times of course you still need to supervise to make sure that they're not working slowly 
to make sure that they're not, they not making mistakes, but they kind of understand how to do it. So it cost us 1,051 US dollars in terms of labor costs. And then finally, the final cost was the food. Yeah, Of course, when the guys are building and working over here, we do provide them with food. We supply them with food. And uh, we have a lot of food. As you guys can see, I have a banana plantation here. And uh, food in my country is not expensive, honestly, because we have a lot of rain. Well, for me, it's not expensive. I do know that there are a lot of people living in hunger and things like that, and it's unfortunate. But for me, it's not expensive, and I can easily feed the guys. So for the food, you can imagine for the two weeks, it cost us only 39 US dollars, yeah? All the food put together, only 39 US dollars. So it was, I think it's a good price. So then when we do put all that cost together for the construction of this chicken house, it came to a total of about 5,600 and 15 US dollars if you do round it off. Yes, 5,615 US dollars. And in all honesty, I don't know. Tell me guys what you think. Of course, it was a bit more expensive than the second house that we built because of a few reasons that I've told you. But I personally feel like it's it's a good price. I mean, it's, it's a cost-effective price. Of course, it's not too cheap, but it's not too expensive. No, it's not too expensive. It's okay. It makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So tell me what you think about it. I know in your countries, these materials, some of them might be more expensive. In some countries, it might be much cheaper. I don't think you're going to find many countries where it's much cheaper to build a structure like this than it is right here in my country because honestly, a lot of the raw materials that we use for constructing are readily available. I mean, the stones that we use for making the aggregate are very available close to this area. Cement, there's a cement factory less than 30 kilometers from here. When it comes to the wood, you know, we have a lot of trees around, people who have planted these trees for commercial purposes. I mean, everything is available. So it's not as expensive. Like I've told you, the labor is not so expensive. In some countries, it might be way more expensive. So tell me what you think about it, guys. Yeah, I'm quite curious to know. Uh, do you think it's a good price? Do you think it's a really bad price? And by the way, before we go, I want to show you guys something. Yeah, um, this is a water pump that we finally installed right here. I told you guys that we have a water tank right here that harvests rainwater. Yeah, uh, so it harvests rainwater from the roof that you can see there and uh, we have a water pump that we finally installed so that it pumps the water from uh, you know from the tank into the smaller tanks right there you know to bring down our water bill to try and bring down our water bill and it's working really beautifully of course the thing you're going to be asking about is you know treating the water and the way of treating the water is using you know jig sodium hypochlorite you just pour a little bit of it inside the the tank and treat the water and everything is good so that is how we are doing it i'm really happy and excited about this my little house right there don't forget to hit the subscribe button smash the notification bell that way you never miss out on an upload catch you very soon with another video lots of love bye bye